My name is David Thompson. I'm director of the Learning Process Program at the University of Denver. I'm going to be speaking about my book, Law School 2.0, Legal Education for a Digital Age. Law School 2.0 tries to address the question that we're in in legal education today. We know what we need to do, but it's going to cost a lot more, or we think it will. What Law School 2.0 tries to say, the thesis of the book, is that we can do the things we need to do in legal education without blowing up the cost. But the only way we can do that is by leveraging technology in various different ways, to be creative about ways that we can use technology to help us teach in a better, more effective way, in ways that students need and our graduates really need, but to do it in a way without increasing the cost dramatically. We know that our students need uh, smaller classes, more individualized feedback, and more opportunities to exercise the skills that they need to become great graduates and great lawyers. This idea of having practice-ready lawyers is discussed quite a bit. And while I think um, that may be a little high of a goal to truly have every graduate be practice ready, we can certainly do more than has been done historically in legal education to get our graduates ready to be more useful to the firm or law office where they are working from day one. And some of the ways that we can do that are to provide smaller classes, skills focused, um, opportunities for exercising, for doing, learning and doing uh, what lawyers do day to day. So the problem with that is that if we're going to have a lot more smaller classes and more faculty, that's a big expense. And so the question that I try to address in Law School 2.0 is how to provide that kind of more individualized smaller class feedback one-on-one, -on -one, but to do that in a way that doesn't blow up the cost of legal education. And the way I think we can do that is by leveraging technology, by using technology and integrating it more into what we do in legal education. And there are a number of ways that we can do that. One is to create different kinds of teaching materials which is what the Skills and Values series is about. Hybrid books that are less in print and more online, more flexible as a result, and cheaper. Another thing we can do is, hey, let's be creative. A torts class typically meets 60, 70 students three times a week. Why not put two of those lectures in the week online, have section one and two, view those, and then flip it around so that each class that takes place three times a week is the 25 or 30 students rather than the full class. We can do things like that today. Online technology for teaching has developed dramatically and matured in the last 10 years. And so we can do things like that. We can be creative in that way. We can teach more effectively without blowing up the cost. But the only way we can do that is by leveraging technology. And I make that argument and explain what I mean by it in the Law School 2.0 book. I describe the need for new kinds of teaching materials of a hybrid nature that are partly in print and partly online. They're more flexible, they can be cheaper, the teacher can use parts of the book uh, and, and not others. Uh, so it can be customized to the class, to the course, and to the teacher's teaching method. 
Well, I'd be glad to talk to anyone about the theories that I expound in Law School 2.0. I also have a website, lawschool2.com, and a blog. I'm also on Twitter. Uh, so glad to participate in the discussion that's going on about legal education. Uh, feel free to contact me. I'd be glad to, glad to talk to you about it.